Starting next year, passengers in Waterloo will have an improved experience hopping on board a train. That is the hope of town leaders, at least, all thanks to a $1.8 million project. News Channel 15's Gina Glaros joins us in Studio 15 with more. Gina? Mark and Heather, the U.S. Department of Transportation awarded that grant back in 2010. But after some hiccups, local leaders weren't sure if this project would ever happen. Now they say it's full speed ahead. The current train station includes a small place to wait under glass and limited parking. When you think about bad weather, whether it's snow or rain, a bus hut just doesn't cut it. And many times the train is running late. So people end up sitting in their car. All the while we're sheltered, the original station is just a couple blocks away. This station was built in the 1800s when the railroad industry was booming and Waterloo was a big stopping point. In the 80s, it was moved to its current spot when Conrail threatened to tear it down. And in 2005, it was fully restored, serving as a place for community events up to this point. And now we're going to move it right back very close to where it was in its original heyday. About 25,000 people take the train in Waterloo every year. 2,200 live in Waterloo. We've always believed that if we could get um, this train station to function like it originally was uh, back in uh, the train days in the late 1800s, that it's going to increase Amtrak's ridership. It's going to bring better customer service and more people want to, will want to come to Waterloo and spend their money and um, ride the trains. The new station will have room for passengers as well as the community, public restrooms, Wi-Fi, heating and cooling, a lit parking lot, and a public information display so passengers can see detailed arrival and departure information. We really want it to be a nice station, so we're very excited that we get to do this for the community. The station is expected to be finished by spring of next year. In Studio 15, Gina Galeros, News Channel 15.